The sugar that our bodies absorb from the food we eat is called glucose, which is a source of energy for every cell in our body. Is it possible that glucose could power medical implants in the near future? Yes, it is. A glucose fuel cell is a subtype of conventional fuel cell that oxidizes glucose and reduces oxygen to give electric energy. The anode reacts with glucose in bodily fluids, transforming the sugar into gluconic acid. This releases a pair of protons and a pair of electrons. The electrolyte acts to separate the protons from the electrons, conducting the protons through the fuel cell where they combine with air to form molecules of water. In the meantime, the electrons that have been separated move to an outside circuit, powering up an electronic device. Glucose and oxygen are continuously replenished in fluids by the metabolism, causing this revolutionary approach to provide enough energy for the patient's whole lifetime without any need for battery replacements. Engineers have created a fuel cell that is just 400 nanometers thick. A GFC can also withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, allowing it to go through the sterilization process needed for all implantable devices. GFCs can provide hundreds of megawatts of power if glucose and oxygen are efficiently and selectively oxidized and reduced. All these benefits and experiments of using implanted GFCs to power cardiac pacemakers and implanted biosensors prove beyond doubt that glucose can be a significant input for a few cells in the future.